the two Super Bowl teams from last year, the Eagles and the Chiefs, they're both broken to a certain extent. And I think the difference is the Chiefs have accepted that they're not, and this year never will be, the team they were last year or the year before or the year before or the year before. Every team is different. Every year is different. And the more you try to force yourself and will your way to being the team that you were in some past year, I think the more frustrated you're going to be and the more likely you are to not achieve whatever this group can achieve. Teams change dramatically every year. To the outside, we see Patrick Mahomes. We see Travis Kelsey. We see Chris Jones. We see Andy Reid. It looks the same. It's not the same. Every year, every team is its own entity, and it starts in the offseason, and it runs all the way through until either week 18 or whenever you conclude your playoff run. Forget about what you were. The Chiefs seem to be figuring that out. Their win over the Bengals on Sunday, after they kind of bottomed out against the Raiders on Christmas, because I think against the Raiders on Christmas, they just decided, you know what? We're just going to be the team that we've been in the past. We're just going to go be that team. And then they realized, wait, we're not that team. We can't do those things. So this week, let's just be the best version of who we currently are. The Eagles need to come to that realization quickly or they're going to make a fast exit from the playoffs because I feel like they're frustrated because this year isn't going like last year. Well, that's the way it goes in the NFL. Every year is different. Both coordinators gone. And we see that frustration manifest itself. There's some Discussion now about A.J. Brown having issues with the coaching staff and Nick Sirianni talking last week about watching his demeanor and he's too tense. They wanted this year to be as easy as last year. Last year was easy until it wasn't. This year was easy until it wasn't. Now, they weren't blowing people out, but they were 10-1. and one. It felt like it was ordained. It felt like it was written. It felt like it was done that they were going to get back to the Super Bowl and potentially win it this time. Reality began to crash in. And they're having a hell of a time processing, I believe, the reality that they're not who they were last year. Quit trying to be who you were last year. Be who you are now. Be the best version of who you are now. Work within the lines. That's what the Chiefs did. Color within the lines. Be what you are, not what you used to be or not what you will be. Just be what you are, the best version of what you are. May not be good enough, but at least it'll eliminate all this angst and frustration Quit trying to be what you were last year. Be what you are now. It takes off the table, all that comparison. And if people on the outside are saying, why ain't you were, why aren't you what you were last year? Or why ain't you what you were last year? Either way is acceptable to me. If they're saying that, you just have to ignore it. And you have to mean it. Ignore that noise. Be the best version of yourself before it's too late. And for the Eagles, there's a chance it's too late. Because two seed quite possibly gone. All the Cowboys have to do is beat the Commanders on Sunday, and the Cowboys will be the NFC East champions and the two seed in the conference. The Eagles are going to have to hit the road as the five seed. They're going to have to go to Tampa or New Orleans or Atlanta. Who knows at this point? I think it's going to be Tampa, and if Tampa plays like they did on Sunday, maybe the Eagles can beat them. But then if you win that one, you're on the road again. Where do you go? Do you go to Dallas? Do you go to San Francisco? It depends on what happens with the three, six, and two, seven games. I mean, there's a chance Dallas gets knocked out by Seattle. Remember, they had that great Thursday night game in Dallas. Get a little rematch of that. There's a chance Dallas loses and stirs everything up. But regardless, you want to be that two seed. You want to have the seven seed come to you. You want to be guaranteed the second home game before you go to San Francisco. And again, I've learned the hard way, not to speak in absolutes on these matters, but the 49ers absolutely look like the best team in the conference. So the rest of it seems to be just details, frankly. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.